So, where should we go? Where are In the past, power plants produced energy at any cost. Now it, we're not only producing energy, but we're producing less pollutants. It's better for the community, and it's going to be better for generations to come. This is Sparky from Gear Live, and I'm here with Buzz Apostle from Pantone, and they're here showing off the Huey, which is a color calibration technology. Now, Buzz, tell us a little bit about what color calibration is. Color calibration corrects the colors on your monitor so what you see and what you output becomes what you want to output with the correct color. Every monitor sees colors differently and if you calibrate the monitor you'll see the absolutely correct color. And the reason, the main reason you want to see that is, is because you want true color fidelity from print to monitor to whatever your application is. So it would save you from reprinting photos, reprinting from your laser printer, from your photo printer with the right color. So making sure that when I take a picture of something that it appears on the monitor and in print just how it was in real life. That's correct. That's correct. And that's the benefit. So if you calibrate the monitor, it saves you a lot of time, saves you money, and you get you get the product that you want. Saving on printing costs and getting what you want is definitely cool. Perfect. Well let's take a look at what you got here. This is the UE device. And as you see it 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 takes about it takes approximately about a minute and a half to calibrate the monitor. Plugs into a USB port. You load the software on the desktop. You place the, the UE on the monitor like that. And we'll hit the software to go next. Okay. And what it's going to do now is going to read the RGB that's in the system on the PC and the screen. It's going to calculate those colors. So, so basically what it's doing is it's, it's there's a camera in there that's actually looking at what color the monitor is displaying so that it can figure out how the monitor responds to various inputs? Yeah, that's correct. That's correct. All right. and this is a colorimeter with seven sensors in it, very high-end, high-quality, uh, but it's a low-cost device for the consumers and digital photographers and all designers. What, what kind of a price point would we be looking at for a device like this? Price is uh, on the street between $79 and $89. Excellent. That sounds like a great value for kind of a prosumer market of photographers, somebody who cares about color, but, you know, doesn't have thousands of dollars to spend on the perfect monitor. That's correct. This is the first device this year that is really under $100. Most of these devices were $200 to $300 in the previous past 12 months. Not to mention easy to use. You put it on there and pushed one button, and it worked. That's correct. I mean, that, you, you don't get much more simple than that. I put it back in the cradle, and now if I hit next, it'll show me... It'll show me the uncorrected version. If I go over, it'll show me the corrected version. Oh, wow. That's a pretty marked difference. So you see the before and after. So does this support both Macs and PCs? Yes, it does. Mac and PC, OS compatible. Uh, and it also is Vista compliant now as we speak here at CES. Excellent. Now, I noticed that you have this in a stand here. What, what's the reason for keeping it connected in a stand? If you'd like to keep it connected, it will automatically measure the ambient light in the room as the light affects the color on your monitor. So for example, if the lights went out in this room, or you're working on the system and the lights go down in the afternoon, it'll automatically adjust the color on the monitor to make up that difference. Does it also adjust the brightness so that if it gets brighter in the room, the monitor gets brighter? Yes. Excellent, that's a great feature. It's a, it's a revolutionary feature. It's on no other product at this point, which makes it really one of a kind. Excellent. And are these available right now in stores? They're available right now in all retail stores, such as Circuit City, Amazon.com, PC Mall, CDW, Office Depot, places like that. Excellent. Perfect. Well, thank you very much, Buzz, and we'll definitely be checking these out for our viewers. Thank you. Thanks, guys. This has been Sparky with Gear Live. Stay tuned for continued CES 2007 coverage. My favorite fishes to eat are... Uh between crappie, catfish, and walleye. In the past, power plants produced energy at any cost.
now it, we're not only producing energy, but we're producing less pollutants. It's better for the community, and it's going to be better for generations to come.